The Olympus EM1 Mark II comes with a total of three custom shooting modes. These are great when you've personalised the camera to a certain style of photography. So maybe you've set it up for weddings or low light photography or fast moving subjects. You can get instant access to those settings by dialing in C1, C2 or C3. The custom modes have some presets built in, but you can easily replace those with your own settings. All you need to remember is however you set up your camera, that's how your custom mode will be. And the first thing you need to decide is what shooting mode you want to be in. So dial in either program, aperture priority, shutter priority or full manual. Next you need some initial settings. So in program mode that would be just exposure compensation. Aperture priority, you'd also add a standard aperture. In shutter priority you'd have a standard shutter speed. I'm going to set my camera up for shooting in my small studio. I'm going to use manual mode and my standard settings which are f8 and a shutter speed of 250th of a second. Now these are the ones that you'll default to when you first switch on your custom mode. But of course these can all be changed as you use the camera and get shooting. Now not only can we program that in, but I can also add in things from the Super Control Panel. So let's go into that by pressing OK. And here I'm going to put in an ISO of 200. I use flash in my studio, so I'll set the white balance to that. I'll be shooting portraits, so I need the face and eye detect turn on. And of course I like to shoot in RAW. But it's not just these settings I can include, it's everything on the camera, including the standard menu settings. So let's just press the menu button. I'm going to go to the custom menu, the little cog. I'll set my D2 Live View Boost to on, which helps me work in a dark studio. And then I'm going to go to D4 and turn the beep off because it's just ever so slightly annoying. Those settings are just a few of the things you can do. Of course, however you set this up, that's what you get for your particular shooting. But how do you save them as a custom mode? Well, really simple. You need to go back and press the menu button once more. This time you're going to go to shooting mode one reset stroke custom modes, assign to custom mode, and then choose either C1, C2 or C3. I'll choose C2 and press OK. And that's it. You've now set up your very own custom mode. It means you can dive straight in and start taking great pictures. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.